What's good YouTube? This is Matt. And today I'm going to show you guys how to smudge right into Photoshop. And no, we won't be going so much in depth of how to smudge. We will just take on the basic step and I'm going to show you guys how to smudge. And if you want to go in depth on how to smudge, I'm going to leave a link in the description to one of my videos where I already showed you guys how to smudge. So the first thing you want to do, you want to make use of any selection tool of your choice to erase the background. Once you are done, whatever method you use in erasing your background, once you are done, just right click and convert that layer into a smart object and make a copy of that layer. Then select the layer you just duplicate and go over to the blend mode and set the blend mode to vivid light. And once you set that to vivid light, go over to filter, order, and high parts. Now apply the high parts the way you want your photo to be sharpened um i think somewhere around this it's okay for me or this is kind of too much okay for 3.9 exactly for so i'm just going to set that to 4 and hit on okay now that is really really okay for me so once you've done that if you already have a background just like me you want, you want to turn off the background and make a merge copy of everything by making use of ctrl or shift plus e to make a merge copy of everything now you can select both your previous subject and new ones you just edit and group everything into one group and you can name that to backup in case you have any issue you have a backup you can fall back to at any time so i'm going to unlock the background and drag the backup below the background so now once you've done this just right click on your layer and convert that into a smart object convert that into a smart object duplicate the layer again the right click and rasterize this layer because you'll be smudging and you want to be able to smudge on this layer so once you do that right click and create a clipping mask so that whatever you do it's going to stay within your subject and it won't be going out of your subject so now go over to your brushes or select the brush tool and go over to your brushes and select the smudge smooth smudge brush right there um, select your smudge tool and go over to your brushes panel and select the smooth smudge brush and you might want to set the size to anything you want but i think 50 is okay for me so right now i'm just going to start smudging and whenever you are smudging just make sure to maintain the shape of the skin So I will go over to 60. Yeah, 60.
once you are done smudging reduce the strength of the brush to somewhere around 30 and go close to the eyes and the mouth and start smudging So once you are finally done smudging the whole part of the skin, the final thing for you to do is to increase the size of your, increase the strength of your smudge to, to back to 60 and this time around you won't make use of a large brush to go back and smoothen the places which are rough like you can see some places which you can see that will have something like brush stroke all over the places of the skin. So all this is what you want to fix the second time with the larger brush So once you're finally done, you can now proceed to the next step. But before you proceed to the next step, you want to check between the uh, to see what you've done exactly. So this is what we're having before, and this is what we are having after. So I think I can still work on this part of the forehead. this is cool so that is it on how you can smudge right inside of photoshop so the rest part of this video it's really going to be a speed video of how i am going to smudge the cloth and add up some other stuff to this artwork to make it look so nice so see you guys at the ending of this video